Hello, my friends. Welcome into my Makeup Love office. I am Martha Barnett. I'm an ambassador with Unique, and I'm glad that you're here today. I'm going to talk in this video a little bit about warm and cool colors. This is a question I get asked about all the time, and it's one that's really confusing. In fact, most of my adult life, I got it completely wrong. So let's go over this. How do you decide if you should wear warm or cool makeup colors? Well, there are a couple of little tests. Um, sometimes they're confusing, so it takes maybe more than one of them to confirm whether you're a warm or a cool color, or you could be a neutral. One thing that you can do is look at the veins in your wrist, okay? If you look at the veins in your wrist, look at the color. Are they bluish purple or are they more green? If they're a bluish purple, you're probably a cool color. If they're more greenish, you're probably a warm. If you can't tell, you could be a neutral. A second little test that you can do is to look at jewelry colors. Do you tend to look best in gold jewelry? Now, I wear a lot of gold, but turns out I actually look better in silver. If you look best in gold, you're probably a warm. If you look best in silver, you're probably a cool. If you tend to wear both metals and you look good in both, you're probably a neutral. And finally, the last little test that I recommend, and this is probably one that's the most accurate, I think. When you go out in the sun, initially, do you tend to burn, tan, or burn then tan? If you burn right away, you're probably a cool. If you tend to tan and rarely burn, you're probably a warm. If you tend to burn but then tan and tend to tan really well after that, you're probably a neutral. Now, most of my life, because I have dark auburn hair and I have brown eyes, I thought I was a warm. For years, I would pick foundation colors, makeup colors in the peach, um, brown ranges. I picked all of my makeup colors and even my clothing colors in those warm tones. I was getting it wrong. I had no idea until I started with Unique about five years ago and I was in my 50s. And I was picking my foundation color and I noticed there was a little quiz that they had that you could take. Um, and it included the question about looking at the veins in your wrist. And I wasn't sure, but I thought, my gosh, they look awful blue. And then it asked the question about, do you tend to tan or burn? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a no brainer. I burn in the sun. I definitely burn and I burn immediately. It doesn't take more than five minutes in the sun and I burn. In fact, I've got lots and lots of sun damage from when I was a teenager and I was stupid and didn't wear sunscreen. Everybody else in my family is a warm and they tend to tan. So the rest of my family never really wore a lot of sunscreen because they didn't need to. They tanned, they never burned. Um, I didn't, I, I never wore sunscreen because they didn't and I have lots of sun damage. I burned and burned and burned as a kid. I have horrible sun damage on my chest as a result. My dermatologist has a fit with me. Now I wear sunscreen religiously because I burn really bad. So when I read that and I looked at my wrist and I realized, you know, I really probably do look better in silver jewelry and now I do wear a lot of silver, I thought, wow, maybe I should try a cool foundation. So lo and behold, I grabbed the chiffon, which was not the lightest color in the cool range, but the, a, a step up in the cool range, which was just dark enough. That was the problem. When I thought they said cool, I thought I had to choose the lightest color in that range which would be organza, and it was too light for me. And that's why I thought, no, 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 I must be warm because that's too light. No, I just needed a step up in the cool range, which was chiffon. Once I tried this on, I realized, oh my gosh, I am a cool. I just needed a darker color of the cool tones. Once I put this on, I was amazed. The second thing that really sealed the deal for me was when it came to blush. Um, when I tried blushes, I came across this blush. Let me see if I can find this one right here. This is a blush called Surreal. 
Now it really looks dark, kind of a, almost a plum color. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh wow, that's like way too dark for me. <clears throat> that's way too plum, too purpley. That will not look good on me. Out of all the blushes that Unique has, this is my number one color, <clears throat> excuse me. This looks the best on me. I was really surprised and that kind of sealed the deal for me that yeah, I'm definitely a cool color. I started trying cool colors in lip colors and lo and behold, I'm a cool. So if you're not sure, start experimenting with some colors. Do the little test, look at your veins, look at your metal colors, look at your skin, burn or tan. If you're not sure, try the neutrals. Neutral colors, we do have foundations that are labeled as neutral. We do have makeup colors, blushes, lip colors that are labeled as neutral. You can try those, or you may be able to wear both cool and warm colors as a neutral. A lot of people can, excuse my dogs. Like I said, I've got the whole pack here today. Um, <clears throat> all eight dogs. So um, give that a try. Try those little tests. See what you come up with. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments or feel free to message me and I'll help you walk through the, the test for cool and warm and see if we can decide whether you should try some cool or warm or neutral shades of foundation and makeup colors and we will find just the right colors for you. All right. Thanks everybody for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. See you next time. Bye-bye.